Hi Gerard, um, here is this video. These are just great watches. I wasn't kidding when I said how nice this was. Uh, I realize for most people, most people in the world are, are never actually going to see one of these in person in their lives. Of, of those, a much smaller percentage are going to see one that's in even decent condition because they, they were divers and so they tend to suffer a little bit if they weren't taken care of. Um, of those that have seen a decent one, very few are ever going to see, or much less own, one that's in this condition. Um, the thing with these watches, yours is, it's just, it's, it's really in fantastic, amazing condition. I wasn't kidding. I mean, look at the perfection of the insert and the beautiful whiteness of the original loom. No staining on the loom at all. And then if we go and we turn it over... You can see the condition of the case back. It's still, you know, bright and shiny. It's still beautifully frosted in here. This normally goes away. It's cool, by the way, your, uh, your pieces. It's the 68th made in uh, September 1981. Nice piece, but it's in really, really nice cosmetic condition. Um, you can see... I told you that one of the only ones I'd ever seen that was as nice as yours with mine, and here's mine, which is pretty much one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. Mine is the Japanese home market version, so yours says SQ Divers 300 meter, and mine just says Professional 300 minute, and it's got the kanji day. Uh, but you can see in condition, they're very, very, very similar. Uh, in fact, I think your case back... Yeah, your case back is better than mine. See, look, the frosting around the tsunami in mine is sort of worn away. It's sort of shiny, and there's, there's more like surface hazing versus, I mean, we, we, you look at the two case backs side by side, and you can see the difference in quality. I mean, you have a really nice example of, you know, if it wasn't for... The internal problems that we know your watch has, I would say yours was the superior example. Also, because yours is the North American version, which I actually prefer. Some people will think I'm crazy. They're like, oh, it's got to be the Japanese home market version. That's a really cool one at the kanji day. I don't deny that it's cool, but I prefer North American versions. And pretty much anything I wear or own, I prefer. So this is the better watch. Let's talk about the inside. Hang on. Uh, now, I haven't pulled this out to really look at it, but I can see those salt crystals everywhere. These stupid alkaline batteries. There are two different kinds of batteries. Hang on. There are two different kinds of batteries that people use. One is alkaline, which is just like a battery type that is like what you put in a flashlight. And then you have silver oxide, which is what I use. The electrolytes are different. And, in a, and the charge is different how these pull out pressure alkaline is pretty much worse in every single way uh, the power output starts to drop almost immediately and when they start leaking and the electrolytes are the electrolytes can make it out past the uh, seals so when there isn't enough of the other material to keep the electrolytes busy they start looking for other things to do and they make their way out of the seal and they get everywhere. The acid gets everywhere. They, it leaks all through the watch. It can eat through plates. I've seen it do that. But in these, what it's going to do is, I'm, gonna, I'm sure I'm going to take this apart now. I'm going to find that the CMOS circuit is has a haze of little growth of crystals all over it, and that it's going to be junk. So we're going to be replacing the circuit at a minimum. It's possible that we're going to be doing the circuit and the coil. Um, you know, cosmetically, the thing is you really lucked out cosmetically. Um, because your watch hasn't suffered. I mean, it's just functional stuff. We'll be able to deal with that. That's not a problem. Uh, I've seen these where the acid, because the battery, you know, I've, I've seen these where the, you know, where the, the acid will just go and it will stain these markers. And if it gets really bad, it'll, it'll eat the surface off the dial. But so far yours has a 
relatively speaking, minor battery leak. So we'll we'll get that done. It won't be bad. By the way, talking about straps, I don't know what you're going to be wearing, but there are options for straps. These are versions of the Marine Master strap in 22 millimeter that William Jean up in Canada makes, and uh, they're great. And another option is what I have on this watch right here, which is the JDM only DAL 1BP. This is the closest thing available in the world to what your watch would have come with originally. Now they're really nice quality, and in fact, I think even the rubber is different than the American-made Z22s, the American market Z22s. So these are options for you. I really like both of these. I think they give a nice purposeful feel to a watch, but this is sort of the classic, the standard. Okay, well, let me get this thing apart and let's have fun. Talk to you later. You are extraordinarily lucky. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Your circuit and your coil are both good. This is the CMOS right here. And normally when acid comes out of the battery, this is the underside of the battery, it, it, it'll sort of work its way into all the connections and it starts corroding all the copper and it gets into this, this little circuit brain right here and it eats it and that's the end of it. And sometimes it'll get into the coil, which sits right here, and that goes too. That did not happen. Your coil and your circuit are both good. The reason your watch was not running is one thing the acid did do is, you can see little flakes of it there, is it got into, sat on, and discolored the back of the gear train, which is right here. So it was basically, none of these none of these wheels were freely turning, and so all the power in the world through a good circuit and a good coil were not going to move um, a gear train that was basically glued in place with acid. But we get that all cleaned up, and it'll be fine. Um, I'm sure I'm going to find more uh stuff on the other side underneath the dial but i wouldn't really worry that much about it um because the circuit and the coil are good so that's a huge win that's a gigantic win so that is the reason why the uh dial and the hands were so good is because the acid leak was not that serious and where the acid sat is not deadly so you are you are having a good week so congratulations here are the case elements. I don't normally go this in depth, but I just, I love these watches so much and it's always interesting to see what their history tells us. So your case is apart. I haven't pulled the crystal. Um, mostly I'm showing this to you because even though these cases are stainless steel, if they're not cleaned, if somebody goes into water, they can corrode. See that right there? That's corrosion between the shroud and the case. You can see it there. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to clean that up. Thankfully, there was no pitting on the ceiling surface uh, where that case back seal went. So that's great. No water got in there, and your ring isn't seriously damaged. I don't think. Uh, if it is, I have replacements for these. I'm probably one of the only people in the world who have new old stock replacements for this screw down ring. You can see to the inside of your rotating ring have some pitting and this it's it's actual pitting it's not terribly serious I've seen worse but I'm gonna have to get in there and clean that up I'm gonna have to use chemicals to neutralize the corrosion after I get it cleaned out with um, dental tools but I mean your watch is so nice it was just barely worn barely worn I mean the insert is perfect and you can feel on the rotating ring when you get this back feel this the sharp edges on the knurled grip here it's just knife sharp not worn down at all. Really, really, really super nice watch. It just needs to be cleaned. Um, I need to get rid of all that rust. I need to clean the case out, put new seals into it, and then it'll be great. Great watch. Great watch. You are the owner of a really, really sweet example, and it's going to be great when it's done. Okay.